Hi. Today we are talking about nipple confusion. That is something that happens to the babies. Have you heard of a baby who was being breastfed and bottle fed at the same time? And along the way, the baby refuses to take breast milk from the breasts. That is probably nipple confusion. It's also vice versa. It may happen to a baby who was being bottle fed and breastfed straight from the breast and all of a sudden refuses to take the bottle or a bottle is being introduced and the baby refuses to take it. That is nipple confusion. So nipple confusion is the difficulty that a breastfeeding baby has latching onto the breast when the baby has been breastfeeding straight from the breast and has also been feeding with a bottle. So sometimes I have parents come and tell me that, oh, I was doing mixed feeding. I was feeding my baby with formula when I was tired and then I was also breastfeeding. But along the way, the baby simply stopped breastfeeding. That may be nipple confusion. So what happens is that when the babies are breastfed straight from the breast, they are able to control the flow of the milk. They have pauses when they swallow and then they come and suck and then they swallow, they suck and swallow. But there's a different mechanism when the baby is being fed from a bottle. From a bottle, the milk has a continuous flow, whereas straight from the breast, the flow is not continuous. The flow from the bottle is continuous because it's aided by gravity, and then it also depends on the characteristics of the nipple of the bottle. So this nipple confusion, as I'm explaining, can make you stop breastfeeding before you are ready to stop or before you intended to stop because the baby may find it so difficult to latch onto your breast after you have been using both bottle and breastfeeding straight from the breast that the baby just won't latch. And so how can you prevent nipple confusion? You can prevent nipple confusion first by offering to only give breast milk to your baby until the baby is six months old. That is if that was your choice. If you decided to do exclusive breastfeeding, then you should know that there is something called nipple confusion. And if you have to express milk, because even when you express milk, you are still doing exclusive breastfeeding, provided it's your milk. Even when you express milk, you choose to feed your baby the express milk with a cup and a spoon rather than a bottle to avoid nipple confusion. Sometimes you can choose a bottle, but you will research, you will look at bottles that have um, less risk of um, giving your baby nipple confusion. But the risk doesn't totally go away. As long as you are bottle feeding and feeding straight from the breast, your baby can't get nipple confusion. The same thing happens with pacifier use as well. When you introduce pacifiers to your baby, they can also get nipple confusion. So what you should do is to delay the introduction of the bottle or the pacifier as much as possible. Pacifiers, for instance, you should not give to a baby who is less than four weeks old so that the baby learns to latch well before the pacifier is introduced but if you can avoid it altogether you should because apart from the risk of nipple confusion pacifiers drop and then we pick them again so there's the risk of contaminating them and also babies who are on pacifiers they feed less they suck less so they may be getting less breast milk than if they were not on pacifiers and pacifiers also prevent you from recognizing when your baby is hungry when the baby is hungry they give us what we call the cues the feeding cues a hungry baby may initially be just awake and alert. They may make small, small noises, but they are not crying. You may find that they are turning, turning, they are a bit fussy. They may bring their hands to their mouths or they may make sucking movements. But when you give a pacifier to the baby, the babies don't make these movements anymore. So a pacifier can prevent you from recognizing your baby's feeding cues. Crying for hunger is a late cue, so you would have missed all these things. And then by the time you realize, your baby is crying out of hunger. And sometimes babies have different temperaments. Sometimes when the babies cry and then you feed them, they just get upset and they will not accept the breast milk. So that's why it's important to recognize your baby's early feeding cues so that you can feed them before it gets to the stage of crying. Because if it's a very petty baby, if it's a baby who is very temperamental, that baby may just get upset about being hungry for so long and refuse to breastfeed. So this is nipple confusion for you. To avoid this, like I've said, delay the introduction of the bottle or the pacifier. And if you can avoid this, the introduction of these things altogether, then you should. You should feed your baby express breast milk if you want to, but it's better to use a cup and a spoon than to introduce a bottle. The other risk with the bottle, as we all know, is the hygiene. The teeth 
is very small so sometimes cleaning it is a problem for us and so this is another reason why um, you should not introduce a bottle to your baby if you introduce it at all make sure that your baby is well versed at latching onto the breast before you introduce it Thank you for watching this one. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and we will definitely attend to them. You should visit our blog, join the parenting club. You can register for our community forum. They are all free. We don't charge you any money for it. And if you join the parenting club every week, we give you guidance via email and sometimes via WhatsApp about what to do for your child according to the age of your child. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. So if you have subscribed, thank you so much. Bye.